I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a giant Tom Turkey. I take three fingers over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down and leave it floating. Come back to where we started. Let's draw another curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, and leave it floating. Come back over here on the top and we're just going to draw a wavy wavy line down and a wavy wavy line up. Connect. Come back over here on the left and let's just draw a little curve line. Connect. One dot, two dots, and a little curve line. Now I come back over to this section and I draw a slightly curved line down, wavy, wavy, wavy line over, up, and connect. I come back over towards the left, I draw a little curved line down, wavy, wavy, wavy line up, and connect. Now we're going to do a lot of curved lines, a lot of curved lines, a lot of wavy lines. Some of us will have all of it, some of us will have some of it, and it's a-okay. Because everybody's turkey is going to come out looking different. So we're going to start off with curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come down, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, down, up, connect. One more if you can fit it in. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now, starting at, let's come up over here and let's get this space already done. Now, this is called, I call this the ribbon part because we come all the way up, keep going, and now we start a wavy, wavy, wavy line out, down, over, connect. Come back up, we're going to do it again. Wavy line, big, big wavy line. Down, up, over, connect. One more if you can fit it. Big, wavy, wavy line. Down, over, up, connect. Now we can add more curved lines. Curve line up, connect curve line up connect and like I said everybody's going to end up with a different amount now right here at this point I draw a slightly curved line down in out in out up connect I come back a little bit I'm going to do it again curve line out in down up out up connect okay now I'm going to fill in this space in here with a repetition of curved lines, but first I'm going to take one finger and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, come back to the dot, straight diagonal over. Now I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. We're doing it in sections. I draw one curve line, draw another curve line inside the space, and now I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Now I come back up here and I'm going to draw curve line up, curve line up, Jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going all the way around, connect. Now, inside each space, little curve line, curve line, curve line, work your way across. The more spaces you have, curve line, curve line, 
curved line. The more spaces you'll have to color. Now, if I were you, I would draw in one session, like we are right now, and then I would take a day or maybe a break, and then I would color, because there's a lot going on here. Now, if you have room, you can add another row, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line up, curve line up, curve line up, curve line, curve line, inside, inside, work your way around. Every space you can put little curved lines. This is going to divide up the space for when we start to color. Now I look at it and I go, you know what, I'm going to start all the way back over here and I'm going to add another curve line, curve line connect. Okay. Now let me see. This is this. This is that. This is this. This is that. Okay, now I don't want him to look like he's floating. So I take a straight line to the left, jump over, straight line to the right. That just gives him a little bit of weight so that he's standing still. And as I look at mine, I notice that mine looks totally different than the one that I did, and that's okay. All right, let's put a dot here. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is one of those projects that the more different colors of brown you have, the better off you'll be. But you can also just use regular orange and red for these spaces. And then the rest of it, you can do any colors you want. Some of us use fall colors. Some of us use real turkey colors. I did a combination of both. But I made sure that this space and this space were red, that this space was red, and that space was orange. Now, I went through my box of crayons, and I tried to find as many different colored browns as I could. So, this is going to be brown, just to give me a base, and you will color way better than me. And I specifically wanted to make the colors going around. These always remind me of ribbons. So I did this one a different colored brown, all the way around. And see, so you can fill this in any which way you want. As you can tell, I'm not doing a very good job. That's what I mean. This should probably be a two session project. Session one, draw. Session two, color. Then I added purple because that was my choice. You might not want to do that, but you can. So I did this purple, and because I did it on the outside, I decided I needed to add a little pop of color on the inside space, so I picked some spaces and thought, you know what, this needs to be purple. I think I did these purple. But it's really up to you. That's kind of what's fun about this turkey, is that any color you do them, is correct. There are no mistakes in art. So I did that purple. Let me see. And I think I did an inside. A couple of these purple also. Because you want your color to be all over. But you don't want it to be boring. Oh. And I did some of these purple also. Okay. Next. I got my orange and my browns. And I did some of these orange. I did some of these orange. And I did some of this orange also. You want everything to be kind of overlapping. Okay, let's see what else we're going to do. Okay, now I come in and I do this part orange. 
and now I come in with my brown. Now these are multicultural browns. If you don't have multicultural browns, you can just use your regular brown. Then your pops of color will really show out. So if you don't have a lot of different colors, it's okay. Now I came in and I did this, this color, this color. I keep looking at this and it's like pretty funny because I'm doing it totally different than my original. Which just goes to show you that anything you decide is correct. So when you look at this turkey and you look at the turkey I did as my sample turkey, you're going to go, whoa, that doesn't even look alike. Now I'm going to take green and put that in. See how that really pops? Do some of these green, this green, this part down here green. Like I said before, you kind of want to spread out your pops a color. This works. Maybe this should be green. Okay. Then I came in and I added yellow. So these are kind of fall colors. They're kind of just turkey colors. There are no mistakes in art. Hey, it works for me. And as always, you will do a way better job than me coloring this in. Now, down at the bottom, I took this crayon color, kind of a beigey peach, and going horizontal, sideways. I added my straight lines to the edge of the paper. Then, amazingly enough, I have a gray, and I did the background. There's not too much of it shows, but I did the background gray, kind of a neutral color. So the big thing that you see is this gigantic turkey. Okay, let's see what my other one looks like. Here is my giant tom turkey all colored in, totally different almost from the one I just drew. Okay, bye bye.